If you haven't by now, some of y'all already guessed it. Guess what? I'm bringing back the copycat series, right? And today, what better to start with? The Wendy's Baconator, right? Now they doing it right now with the pretzel bun. I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, Wendy's, this is the burger you wish you made. Let's get it. Okay, so look, hickory smoked bacon. Listen, you gotta have that thick cut, right? Now, let me go ahead and oil up, you know, my griddle. Now I got it divided up into two zones. The left side is the, my hot zone and my warm side is the right side, right? Super easy. Remember I said this is the burger that they wish they made. Listen, so we got the good bacon on here. Now I'm gonna go with my onions, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grill my onions, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and put them, you know, right here. That's fine. All right, so look, let me show you guys this. This is just parchment paper. I'm gonna show you how I got to make it like square. Last time when I made them, I made them round, pressed them, you know, with my press, right? After I press them down, and then I kind of like just patted them down to get them even, you know, get an even, you know, square edge, right? So I'm gonna show you how I came up with this and I'm gonna do it like this. Just make yourself a ball. You want all of your, your meat to be the same size, right? So I don't really compact it. You can see right there, like I don't wanna make my meat dense, right? So I'll just take it like this, get my patty. I mean, my press, put this over like the top, get it over the center and then we just press. Now you wanna press it, you want it to be kind of spread out cause we are gonna cut some of this off, right? So you see how we got it there? And we just roll this back like this, and there we go. Now, we just take it and just, right? You do this with enough patties, you'll make another, a whole nother patty. So look, now I'm getting ready to just, we'll look at these to see how they are doing. I got everything moving nice and slow because we had to do a little bit of prep, right? If I look back here, I can tell you this is a little bit more hotter. You know what I mean? So I'm probably just gonna flip these two, but don't worry. When you get them, I want to show you this part right here. This right here will help make sense to it for you. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these pretzel buns out. All right? And then if I take it like this, you can see it's a little bit bigger. Don't forget, we're going to get a little bit of shrinkage, right? So that's what we want to do. But I want to ensure that we have enough. So I take my parchment paper, put it back out over the top, and just give it a little bit of a smash. And that there, folks. There's a square patty. Okay, so I'm looking at my bacon. We there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, let me get underneath these, and I'm gonna bring them over here to this zone, right? Remember I told you guys, over here, we cool. This right here just gonna keep it warm. Okay, so look, now we finna make the sauce, right? I'm gonna go ahead and make my sauce. Listen, we always gotta start with mayo, right? I'll give you guys the full ingredient list down in my, uh, on my website. Don't forget it's printable. That's smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com, right? So we got a little mayo. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. I gotta make a little, I gotta make quite a few of these today. I told everybody they, you know, what we was making today and everybody was like, ooh, I gotta have one. I didn't bring no lunch. So we finna get down. So I add a little ketchup to it. I don't add a whole lot of ketchup or a whole lot of uh, mustard, right? because I need to see it. I base mine off of my color, then I start tasting it, right? And there's one ingredient I don't have out here, and that's that W sauce. But you can't have no burger sauce, if you ask me, without having a little bit of this uh, sweet relish. And then for those of you guys that know, like on the East Coast, I know that they sell salad cube sweet relish in the uh, grocery store. Out here, I have to order it, and obviously I'm out of it. But if you guys get the salad cube, the dice on the sweet uh, pickle is, you know, much, much bigger. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of W sauce, just like a dash or two of that. Some pepper, hoo hoo. Just a dash or two, whoa, just, ah, that's it right there. I told you guys earlier I was gonna have to make some more bacon. You know what I mean? And I can't keep no bacon. That was my original bacon, the first set, that's already half gone. So I went ahead and just made the whole entire pack. You know what I mean? Keep it over here on my cooler side. This will just keep everything nice and warm. Now I'm getting ready to come and take a look at my onions. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. So let me just go ahead and move these. You see this right here? Let me, that's as far as I wanna go, right? So we'll move these down here like this. Right? Now I'm gonna take this and put some of this, some of this grease down my little trap back here, right? Got a little working with a griddle, folks. You know, one thing I can tell you about working with a griddle, you wanna make sure your table is level. Got this over here like that, this is gonna continue to stay warm. 
lightly cook only on this side, right? Because remember, it's hot over here. It's got to gradually go down to straight cool, right? So I'll just put that there. Now we're gonna get down here with our patties, right? We can do it like how we do it, like how they do it at the store, right? Now don't, I know it look all like I'm doing something, but truly, I just got, I just cut my parchment paper into like some type of square and just put it down, right? So I'm looking at it, might raise this up just a tad bit. You know what I mean? We wanna get that going. Now, I'm gonna be doing a combination of seasoning, right? I'm gonna be using my AP, right? This is my original AP, which is a little bit different. Trust me, folks, this on any type of food is great. And then I'm gonna come with my burger rub also. So let me just open this up. Let's go ahead and start to season a little bit. Oh, as you can see, it's just a little bit on the windy side today, right? And now for that burger seasoning. This is a hell of a combination right here, folks. So now we get ready to toast. We're gonna start it off early this year, folks, especially for those of you guys that don't know. I think just about everybody has like discovered it by now. Look, instead of me using butter, I'm gonna be using what? That's right, this is that mayo. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to just drop the buns on. I'll put them right there. I'm gonna move these back towards the back just a little bit more. In just a second, I'm getting ready to put some cheese on it. I don't care if it, uh, my buns get a little seasoning on there too. That doesn't bother me at all. We drop this right here. Now we let this work. I can put my hand on them, I can feel them. They steaming already. Now we go ahead and just add our cheese on here. Put that there, let's go ahead and check. Oh yeah. You see what I was talking about? You see that right there? And look, I don't know if I can capture this, but look. Look how soft it is now. You wanna know how soft it is? Look, I even put a dent in it. Man, it's just something about when you put that on there. And look how this is. These is almost ready, folks. This one can go there where it's a little hotter. But that one right there is nice. Now, when you guys see me do the water right there, usually I put a lid over the top and it's the steam that'll help melt the cheese. But I wanted everything to go, I wanted to speed it up just a little bit. You can see how it works like towards the edges. We'll let the rest of the heat just go ahead and take care of that. Now let's go ahead and build these, these buns. I don't know about y'all, but this is the way I judge if this burger is gonna be made right. When I go ahead and bite it, I need to make sure I need a bib. You know what I mean? Uh, this is what we wanna have right here. That way when I put it on there, uh, smash it all together and go to eat it, I wanna see a little bit of oozing out the side. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. Is this how you guys make yours? We are talking about building them, right? So let me go ahead and clean this off, all right? Again, man, I love the fact that I get to work outside almost throughout the whole year, right? Now, I'm gonna take my patty here. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and drop him just like that, right? I'm gonna grab one more. Now I'm getting ready to come with my bacon. I'm gonna have bacon everywhere, folks. Don't trip. I'm gonna just put it on like that, right? Then I'm gonna grab me a patty, because we making doubles, folks. Now this other one, I'll clean it up, won't make my bacon so big, right? So there, do it like that. Try to get me another smaller one. Do it like that. And then we just finna put this on the top. Now I'm not gonna put no onions on this one right here cause somebody square up and down, they don't like it, but I've given them, you know, grilled onions before and they ate it and it wasn't no problem, right? So look, I'll make them that sloppy one. This one over here, check this one out. Okay, folks, look, I'm ready to tear into this, but I wanna do a recap just about everything that we covered on here. This right here, first of all, this is the bacon, Wendy's double 
Baconator, you know what I mean? Uh, what I can say is this is the one I wish they would make. You know what I mean? We went over the top. We seasoned it just right. And don't forget, go by my website. Take a look at that. You know what I mean? Uh, not just for this recipe, but for other recipes. You guys looking to uh, make something? More than likely, it's on my website. All you gotta do is go to smoking and grilling with ab.com. That's w i t a b.com. Hit recipes, and it's there. And listen, I got some good articles on there too. So, without with all of that being said, I'm not gonna over talk it anymore. Let's bite it, folks. Check it out one more time. Cheers. Woo. Ooh -wee. See that? <laughs> that is fire. I'm not finna waste this, waste this opportunity. Listen, my people that help me behind the camera, they can make their own, but check it out. I wouldn't be right if I didn't have that great Kool-Aid. Yes, sir. Before I tear down, chow down on this, you guys let me know what would you do to level up yours, right? So if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. That's fire, folks. I'm out. Peace.